Let's build a custom treadmill desk so you can take those meetings, conference calls, and get some work done while taking a walk. First up, let's gather our supplies. I'll drop the full list in the comments. You'll want to measure the width and the depth of your handlebars and measure those exactly. First up, we wanna cut the board. I'm using project board from my local big box home store, but you can use any kind of plywood that you prefer. Now, most of the home improvement stores will make a couple of cuts for you for free if you don't have your own saw. So you might wanna look into that. Just take your measurements with you when you go to the store. Next, we're gonna sand the board. I'm using a 50 grit for the first pass, and then I went over it a second time with 220 grit to smooth it out. This next part's optional if you want to add a coat of paint to your board, or maybe some stain, or just throw on some varnish, or you could just leave it blank if you like the natural wood. I just grabbed a little small can of sample paint from my local hardware store. It cost me under $3. Now I'm going to measure where I'm going to place the conduit straps. The conduit straps are what we'll use to hold the bungee cords in place, which will prevent the desk from slipping when it's on your treadmill. And I'm putting mine about an inch and a half from each end. Anytime you're going to screw into brand new wood, it's a good idea to drill pilot holes first so that you don't split the wood. After all of the pilot holes have been drilled, then I can go back behind with the screws and attach all of my conduit straps. I'm gonna put two on each end. This part is optional as well. I'm attaching a small piece of shoe molding, which is trim that you can get at your local hardware store. This is to ensure that my laptop doesn't slip if I ever have my treadmill at an incline. I just attached it with a couple of finish nails and then I used a nail set tool to punch the nails down in below the surface of the trim. Now I'm going to follow behind and add some paint to my piece of shoe molding trim. Here I have some grip shelf liner, and I'm going to just roll this out, cut it to fit, and we're gonna staple this to the back of the treadmill desk. This helps to give it some extra grip while it's laying against the handlebars, and also provide some cushion. Once I let the desk dry for a few hours to ensure the paint is no longer sticky or tacky, I'm going to assemble it. And all you do is hook bungee straps to each end of the conduit straps that you attach to the desk, and you're good to go. And here's my finished product, all ready for my next meeting. Drop any questions you have in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe for more DIY.